If you're looking for an easy bar stool tutorial, you're in the right place. This design is very affordable and easy to build. Let's take a quick look at the materials you're going to need for this project. Depending on how many you want to build, it'll cost about $10 each. I'll start building this bar stool by cutting a 2x10 15 inches long. Now let's get a little bit fancy. I'm going to take a round object and trace a curve around each edge. Then I'll cut those out with my jigsaw. I'm going to go ahead and sand mine before I start the next step. This is what your finished seat should look like. Now let's start the legs. If you don't have a miter saw to make angled cuts, start with your 2x3 and measure a quarter inch down on one side. Then make a mark from that other top corner to that line. If you have a miter saw, this will simply be an 8 degree cut. Now take a tape measure and measure 28 inches from each side. You'll have an angled cut facing the same direction. Or you can measure 28 inches from the long side, then add a quarter inch to the opposite side. You'll connect those two lines to make your other angled cut. Once you make this second cut, your first leg will be finished. Go ahead and make your other three legs the exact same way. This is what one of your four completed legs should look like. Lay your legs out how they're going to connect to the bar stool. Then drill two pocket holes on each one where they'll connect to the top. Let's mark where the legs are going to go. I'm marking three quarters of an inch from the short sides and one inch from the long sides of the seat. Once that's complete, I'm taking wood glue and pocket screws and joining the legs to the inside corners. Make sure that the legs are angling outwards. Once the legs are all attached, take a measurement between both sides. Mine just happens to be 10 and a half inches. Take your 2x3s and cut four boards that are that length. Take a 3 8 inch drill bit and drill a hole right in the center of two of these. The hole needs to be about an inch deep. Next use wood glue and one screw to attach these right in the center between both legs. Use your 3 8 inch drill bit again to drill a hole about a half inch deep right in the center about two inches from the seat. You'll do this on each of the legs. If you're not a risk taker, you may want to pre-drill before screwing your legs down to your braces. I'm just using two and a half inch screws to give the legs a little bit of added strength. Take your 3 8 inch dowel rod and put a little wood glue on it. You'll jam this down as far as it'll go in the 3 8 inch holes, then trim it off as needed. We'll come back in a minute and sand these all down. This is just a nice neat way to hide your screw holes. You'll do the same thing to the other side. Now I'm going to measure 10 inches up from the bottom of the chair. These marks will be parallel with the floor. Next I'm attaching my other 10 and a half inch 2x3s just flush with the bottom of that 10 inch line. I'm joining these to the legs the same exact way as the other ones, except I'm using two holes on each side. Let's take a quick measurement between the bracing on these legs. Mine just happens to be exactly 8 inches. So let's take one more 2x3, cut it to that length, and center it between these two braces. I'm using two screws to do this, and the same method I've been using throughout this video.
Here's a quick look at the bar stool so you can see what it looks like before it's finished. Before I show you my finished bar stools, I want to take a minute to show you a project from a few years ago. What we've got here is a wood splitter made from a cherry picker. You know, we rednecks always think we have the most genius inventions. I mean, the machine does work. But let's get your take on the matter. Genius or just plain redneck? Shoot me your thoughts in the comments below. Well, back to work. I'm going to stain my barstool seat with some leftover espresso stain. If you'll recall, this is the same stain I used on my kitchen buffet a couple weeks ago. I was able to do that and this project with only one pint. Now time for a coat of polyurethane. My 2x3s were actually scraps given to me by somebody else. They came to me with a clear coat on them, so I'm going to paint these white. Feel free to finish yours however you see fit. Those wood plugs we use make the legs look really cool. You might find that the wood look is more appealing. <laughs> 